Now you've won nuke anyway, and actually quite handedly. Yeah. You come into your map, this should be the 2-0. You should be feeling real loose in this game. Agreed. They should be smashing now in this uh, in this one. Inferno as well, opportunity for aggression. We'll see how it works out if Dig have got the polish necessary for banana control. I mean, you got the king of banana here on, uh, on Dig, so we expect to see strong play there from him. But uh, let's see. Yeah, it is Freiburg and Exist heading over towards yeah, B. Yeah, you have to remember, Orglis are Americans. And as we all know right now, bananas, any kind of fruit, produce, quite frankly, will just immediately be taken off the shelves. <laughs> okay. Second, second the door's open. So they're going to be taking banana similar. Whether they need it or not, whether it's going to go off in two days or not, they're taking the banana. They've got that. They gobbling it. All right, well, let's find out. How does it go? Do Can't you have the banana? I think as well. Yeah, wait, that's uh, it's been a while since we've seen that. Not even Shoxy uses the P2K anymore, I don't think. All right. It's just Freiburg. I mean, Guardian used to use it, funny enough. He uses the USPS now. Dude, they get into bombsite that's with mental. zero damage that's taken. That's actually mental. All right, finally, FNS gets uh, gets taken. But, I mean, Dig it, took two damage. Oh, never mind. This now Freiburg is dead. everything about the firepower of Dig. If I have USPs, I'm not backing off and playing retake. I'm just shooting you in the head when you come on my spot with Jiggle Peek in the cat angle. I've got a superior weapon. I'm going to keep going until I get the kills. Forest. Once upon a time was the king of the pistols, and now is Forest and Get Right. Get Right with the dualies. Let's go. Time though is a big problem. Oh, we're not going to get the Oh, he wins it. Nice. Oh, I mean, he gets the defuse, not going to find the yes. kill, FNS. But get right, I had low key with the dualies. I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice he had the dualies. That's crazy. Of course, it's get right. Three kills for get right in the pistol. One for Forest and one for Guardian. The retake from A succeeds for Dig. Yeah, get right, the hero again. FNS had a nice little play at the end. Like, you can see what he's going for. It's just. Obviously, that's not the most accurate gun in the world, is it? I mean, we saw that yesterday when that slowy guy had that yeah. mental 1v1 that he lost on the opening pistol, the Dust 2. Unfortunately, actually, it might be the second half. I can't remember on that one. Let's do Let's see where you're going with it. And yeah, when you're trying to shoot the back of the model, the head uh, hitbox gets so. That's cool. one of the most old school problems with the engines of all versions of Counter Strike is anytime a player model is crouched and facing away from you, the head hitbox like goes through the guy's ass into Narnia or something. <laughs> you can't yeah. shoot that thing, can it you? It just vanishes. I <laughs> know. <laughs> uh, Might as well be giving the guy a colonoscopy. Uh, or listen, I mean, you just got to shake that one off. And they have gone for it. They did go for the buy in this round. So, Galil, AK, just so you can get a few more. Why has nobody thought with. of making that joke yet? An What's ESL up? 1 colonoscopy. <laughs> you know, you really break down that game. Dig through that shit, see what's going on there. Well, we'll see, you know, with how everything's breaking down. Do we even get a cologne this year? Probably. I mean, come on. Pro yeah, I feel like come somehow on. it works out. The problem is it is early July that takes place in so It feels borderline, doesn't it? Right, now let's see, though, what they can do with the Deagles. And we've got a couple of guns here. Mm -hmm. Like, if the firepower is as good as we've been hyping it to be on Augustus' side, this should at least be a, a round you've got a little bit of a sweat for. There's the opener. Rosa. We've seen that all day long. There's some Rosa. Oh, miscommunication. Double smokes. That's unfortunate. Uh, exist. You have got to be a hero here, mate. We're looking for two kills. There's one. Flash. And Sabrosa with the second. FNS took down Forest. And this could very well be Orglis getting on the board very quickly here, unless there's some heroics coming through. Bomb gets planted. And now FNS got the angle already on Get Right, but it's Get Right. Get Right could hit this shot every day of the week, and he's so clever. He's going to check in the spot. Sure enough, headshot on FNS, and uh, Get Right comes through. Two on two. Yeah, that was a bit. That aim wasn't very pleasant, FNS. Give no. It a, a bit unfortunate, and there's Guardian with the They win gun. this. This is ridiculous. They, they could do it, dude. They could definitely do it. Guardian's so much time HP. on this clock. This is very doable. Has hit, the shot. Just Has hit the shot impeccably, as Wardell does. That shouldn't have been that close, though. Like, what's bizarre about this round is, beginning of the round, Dig has, obviously, they won the first round, they're in a great spot, mm -hmm. but Sobrosa just gets that first opening kill easy, just walks in the site. And then once they've taken the site, I don't know, that was a little bit questionable, that FNS. The FNS duel, duel versus with Get, get right. right. Yeah. Because I don't, you, by the way, on the get right side of that, absolutely fine. You're using a UMP at mid range. You're not going to hit all the bullets. It's not accurate. But FNS looks pretty rough there with that AK. That's supposed to be a shot to the head, mate. Well, let's see it. Let's see what he's got now because this is going to be double max. Big round win, though. Because obviously now they're right back in the driver's seat. Oh, yeah. And now Dig are the ones having to force buy. 
You can see it. Pistol Kevlar, a couple of nades. Some HEs here, so we'll see if they get clever with it. It's looking I like was, they're trying to I set up. I was cursed when I, when I said they don't win four spies with four summers. So let's see if they can get anything done on this one. No, but it looks like they're trying to set up the same HE. They could try and set up the same HEs to bottom mid. They got him a kill in the last round. And Ye is in that position right now. So we'll see. But it's not looking quite like it right now. Oh, yeah, they're lining it up. They're lining it up. Ye could go down right here. This, this got them a kill in the last round. And Ye, is he wise? It looks like he is wise. He has backed off a little bit, but he could be walking into it. It's all down to timing here. They just need to throw these HEs. Oh, they're going to wait until they're passed, and now the HEs are not going to be effective. You throw oh, them, but it's too late. It's too late. They're through. They're past the blast radius. Uh, yeah, he didn't do as much as he at all. They're, they, those, those are going bottom banana, and they killed the man last round. I can't remember who. I think it was FNS. Now you're walking into the stack. And it's still forced live with the CZ75, and of oh! course That second one was beautiful. What is this round? And Matt, he doesn't want to change weapons. He doesn't want to give it away that he's here. This is still very, very winnable. The problem at the moment is, if you're FNS, you have literally no idea where he is. Yep, you got to find force, and there's all sorts of angles you could be hiding. And with the CZ75, you're not allowed to make mistakes, but you're the ball so far. You are quiet. Now, the right key now. thing to remember as well is until he did that, Forrest had no idea where he was. This is the flaw. This is the guessing game now, which he way to come out of the smoke. FNS could still get lucky against. Not now, of course, but. I mean, that was all Forrest then. Yeah. That was also all Orglis walking into the stack, one after the other. Oh, certainly. Like, that's also where you've got to, like, use one guy as a scout and beat him a little bit. You know, you don't put three people around like that. Because there's another way they also could have lost the same round, which is when Get Right was shooting two of them and killed one, mm -hmm. Forrest could have also peaked earlier, and actually they would have had two people just spraying CZs into you. So you could have also lost a round like that as it was. I, I'm wondering if that was, I mean, Orglis just being, at that point, if you're just being um, stubborn, and you're like, listen, we're going to go through your stack, and we're still going to beat you. And, I mean, they came close enough. If it's not for Forrest just managing to get, of course, Forrest, you know, with pistols, the CZ-75, he's going to be lethal. But it could have been Orgus trying to make a power play, really break dig early. Uh, that could that came back to bite him, and now we're gonna get this force buy out of Orglis. Wardell, the only one who's holding on to any real money because he wants to get that off and play. I'm just surprised at how long Dig waited to get those HEs in. So those HEs are not weren't designed to hit um, midway up banana. They were supposed to hit bottom banana. Goodbye, chicken. Oh. Exploding up lane, straight up short. Beautiful HE, doing some damage to Yay. And Orglis, they managed to bait some utility Don't out of this, Dig. Guardian. Don't peek this, you're gonna get shot instantly, man. So, so Broza with the Hero Creek can do so much in this round. Dude, this off angle as well. <laughs> doesn't want to scope, doesn't want to give use that noise. To give it away. Four players again on the A side for Dig. Does he see there, there's the there's spot. The Great timing goal. could not have been worse. <laughs> but he still gets the kill. And well, now, 44 seconds, and the bomb is bottom banana, and it's looking like they're going to go for a split onto B, and this could be absolutely brutal for Dig. Three players still on A site for Dig. Yeah, they're just going to try and hold these guys here, and then they're going to burst on the B. Freiburg has to be the anchor right now. Freiburg, he has to be the hero. He put a smoke down, but FNS has already threw that smoke. Yeah, There's the flash. Oh, unbelievable. That, that is the one thing that absolutely cannot... Listen, he could shoot the first guy, I'm... the other guy could maybe kill him. That can't be allowed to happen, though. Absolutely. Oh, that is I mean, Look at this. Three people are alive with real guns, but they're just stuck in the other site. <laughs> Bomb gets planted and Dig... Well, this is the best-case scenario for Dig, is that they can try and save these guns, at least. Like, if you were Freiburg there, it actually would have even been better. Like, listen, if you're not feeling your game, just, just peek for information and pull back. I'm a huge fan of that. Just tell us that there's two people there, and then we know it could be a fake. I mean, Sabrosa gets the kill on Exist. But now, if these guns get cleared out by Infinite, this is brutal. If he gets even one of these guns, this is huge. Even one. And they, like, Sabrosa, in theory, should either not die or only get this kill here. He should not. He should be running away. Don't give the Krieg. Odds of you giving the Krieg now are way too high for my liking. The thing is, they're so horny for these CT guns. Well, yeah, why? Like, you're going to have a better buy next round anyways. So now oh! you're risking giving the Krieg away. He doesn't give it away, but at the same time, oof, if he'd have gotten both those kills there. I mean, look at that, that's just free. That is just FNS. What? 
Sabrosa's just brutal, dude. Seven to four. He's still, he's still just cruising. Top frags on Nuke. See, that's why we should almost revoke the whole King of the Banana. Like, the King of the Banana just got wrecked with a rifle versus FNS. In theory, the worst player on the other team with a CZ. So, I don't know what. Dude, who's like who's up there right now though is get right seven and two for him so he's quietly if he used to be the king of the banana you know what he's called now huh king of the plantain i was saying i knew it now he just lets them through to the site and they start plantains <laughs> <laughs> i thought you were gonna go the other go. way you know those fried that's plantains right. just go right through them but uh ah uh, that's it <laughs> <laughs> Orgles at the buy, force buy from Dig. Once again, trying to play off that gun. They get right was able to save. And they're going to get control of top banana. Wait, uh, just one second. Yeah. Top mid control. Point after point here for Orgles. They've got all the map to play with now. They've cleared out apartments. This is really just going to be them strolling through, and I love this proactive play from Get Right. Oh. Goes for the boost and just barely misses them. So, again, <laughs> just the lack of information is brutal here for Dig. But we're down to 30 seconds. And it's a fake back to B, it looks like. And it's looking like they want to rinse and repeat, except that now this is a 2 1 2 setup for Dig. Forrest can do so much. If he gets even one kill here. He's got a USP, though. I mean, what are you doing with the USP? Yeah, the problem is, unfortunately. <laughs> Now yeah. the guys in B. Is 14 seconds. Oh, there's though. not much time though. Yeah, you just have to keep them alive. 10 one. seconds. There's one kill. There's another. Just hold time. Time. Perfect. Five what seconds. Are four they seconds. Doing? Three seconds to it. Yep. Flawless. I, it does surprise me though that Orglis gets caught in that because that's such a pretty amateur move. Everyone knows when you rotate between the two sites like, like you can't rotate with like 20 seconds. You have to walk the whole way. That, that's a that's a weird kind of rookie mistake to make. I mean, also getting the smoke down, Dig holding on to a smoke. Tactical timeout called by Dig. But holding a smoke like that for Dig and a Molotov, I mean, not forcing that utility out from the B site just came back to bite you in the end. Obviously, once that smoke goes down, there's no way you're getting in. And so... Yeah, that, the problem with that round for Orglis is it looked at the end like it was just nothing. Like, they didn't do anything here. They only initially came. They didn't kill a guy. They didn't try and take a duel with a guy. They didn't force someone to stay there. Then they slowly did the slowest rotation ever. And what I always hate, especially if you're observing these games, you're not in them, is when you watch the CTs, you know all they need is just to hit one shot and the whole round breaks down because you've left yourself no time on the clock. Mm -hmm. Like, as soon as Biscuit, I think it was Exist maybe, got that Deagle kill onto the bomb. Like, that was the round over already. That was all he needed to do. He didn't have to kill any other people. Just or this overcomplicating things, I think. This is the thing here. You, be, you can be just a little bit more straightforward with this round. And it seems like they're trying to overcomplicate. They're trying to get Also, creative. they're winning duels. Like, you, why can't you just take the straight up attack on here there? Mm -hmm. Why do you have to try and fake them out every time? It doesn't, it doesn't feel necessary. So, dig another chance. Yeah, we've got two hero creeps now. Oh, oh sorry, one. These have been two... Anymore. I mean, two gifted rounds, essentially, from Orglis to Dig right now. And so Dig have, I mean, yes, they're in this. They've got three rounds on the board, but they've been very dicey. And they don't really have anything to build off of just yet, round after round. This is where we need some Sabrals at entry magic if we want to, if we want to see something on this round. Oh, you've got the Krieg. Could do it. He's taking point right now. Could get that boost going again. We'll see. Okay, so we're going... Yep, it's going to be set up again. Going lane side. You know, as Forrest never peeks onto him. Pretty sure he got spotted. Yep, there it is. Get right with the peek. Two kills for him. Yay is there to trade it, but the damage is done. My like Guardian's in a great position for that gun, but let's see if he if he can actually himself do anything with it at the moment. Because I love this range if you got this weapon. Mm -hmm. And obviously the mobility means you can dodge in, in and out of the box. Well, if you're going to rotate to B, you got to... And here we have, yet again, they've sort of outfought themselves, but have they, though? Because at the moment... It's only Freiburg with an MP9. Unfortunately, exists already thought it through. And that smoke going down, too. That's 30 seconds, and the smoke goes down. If you are Orglis, I mean, this no, You're still going to be in a 3v2, so if you don't fuck it up... Yeah, but Freiburg has got a molly, too, so... something to be done. All he needs to do is hold on to the molly and throw it, like, oh, right now. Oh, through it, yeah. And oh. it's done. This round is... By the way, Guardian is flanking them. Guardian's flanking that right now, should he do kill the people coming in the site. Uh, this round is done, so. Forest right through. Yay. Oh, man, I am shocked. 
This is two runs in a row we've seen this now. Yeah, not forcing utility out, allowing Dig to hold on. And again, the the importance of grenades for the CT side of Inferno, it's, it supersedes everything. And you can see why. That's two rounds now where Orglis, they're trying to make late round plays, and the smokes and incendiaries are completely annihilating them. If they're not able to force out those smokes and incendiaries earlier into the round, it's going to come back to bite them, and that's what we're seeing. That makes me wonder if... They thought that because Get Right was up on the balcony like that, they were playing like another person was in the pit or someone else was in the graveyard or something. Pretty sure they saw Guardian earlier as well, so they knew. Yes, So if because if you kill that guy in theory, you can just walk off the site and come in the site. There's no one in the pit side. You've, you've got one side of the site to look at. It feels like the first time in forever we've had actually what should be a free round to dig now. Yeah. This is the hard eco from Orglis. They've donated a couple Kriegs over to that uh, CT side as well. Never pleasant. Not alive. That only does 20 damage to you. You have no armor and it just blows up right behind your body. Yeah. This, gun's, this game, rather, is just so bizarre, isn't it? Sometimes. And Forrest again. He will fall. Okay, there's a, there's a Krieg. 3v4, but it's Ye who's got the Krieg. Can he hit some shots here? Get right going to step in. There's what is infinite this? catch and get right. Please. Do they get a, like no, this. they don't get a bomb like They do not get a bomb plant. Right. Imagine that. Two kills a Krieg and a bomb plant. That would have been too from much. From a pure Glock Eco. Ooh, and they lose one of the Kriegs. Yeah, from a pure Glock Eco. Yay with a P250. I mean, yeah, that's... That, I mean, it's still solid. You still got two kills on a Glock Eco. Oh, it's but it's fine, yeah. I mean, look at this. You actually, in the end, have taxed all that off their economy. So now what are we looking for here? Now we actually have some nades. Sabrosa. I'm just hoping we're not going to see any... <laughs> slow rotation into a B hit at the end of the round. I've seen enough of those so far. Interesting. Dig really holding on to the nades banana. They throw a single smoke and that's all they throw. They let banana go to Orglis for free pretty much. I guess because they've had so much success holding on to their nades so far, Dig. Yeah, the problem, I, I think that's kind of what it is. Because on the one hand, you, in theory, yeah, you should want to waste all the orcs to leave. But if they're only going to use a smoke, just leave it. This round, in theory, is already shut down. They're going to attack again, though. There's four. Oh, decides not to go. This was a gun round, boys. What was this? I don't even know. What was this? I mean, it's just peeking in dry one after the other into forest and then exist. Okay, now this is a key moment in the whole best of three series because if Orglis is going to keep playing the way they have for the last three rounds, Diggs is just going to keep winning rounds, going to get right back in this series. Oh, yeah. Even though this is the opponent's map pick. But if Orglis can actually get it together, probably not on this round based on the buy, but on the next round, strike back, actually start playing decisively again. Now this is the opposite of what they were doing before. Now they're second guessing themselves. Now they're trying to be too cool for school and do some 700 IQ underwater Jenga move where all you needed to do was just attack the bomb site, you know. You don't have to overthink it like this. Underwater Jenga. <laughs> I'm trying to picture how that would work. They're trying to get too smart, aren't they? Oh, man. The big brain game. Let's see, Infinite. Do you get rewarded for your patience? Ah, there it is. He does get the tag, but no kill. And now, what is essentially a hard eco coming in here? Just Deagle buy from Morgulus. It's looking like it is going to be towards that A site. Exist still has pretty much a full set of nades over on B, so you do not want to go over there. Right, let's see what Guardian can do. Just three people rushing his spot right now, very high possibility. Well, that's Infinite going out on Balcony. He got... Well, he was expecting some kind of backup here from his teammates, looks like. They're out of joint. They're out of whack here, Orglis. That kill for the was expected. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Right, we've got money on it, Orglis now. 7-2. to two. We've got to get a lot done at this point in time. This is just very uninspiring from Orglis right now. Oh, we're going to see it all on Wardell. Yeah. Right. I, I think that's what Let's he wanted to... He would have gone for that earlier... Still, let's see if this uh, if this pays off. If we can get him to find a peak. I mean, it's not like Dig aren't giving their aren't giving opportunities for an op to play into him. 
Yeah, but I mean, the scoreboard tells you it all. Look, Forrest is on 13 to 4. He obviously has been playing the right side of mid if you're on the CT side, the ramp side if you're on the T side. Oh, and this time we're getting the fight, the change from Dig. Three banana early. Plenty of nades thrown in as well. Really liking this from Dig. They're changing it up. What on earth is getting that? So is not going to help. Unfortunate. And that might throw everything out of whack because now all you have to do is slow this game down if you're Orglis. If you got away, that's perfect. Yeah. Well, that, that should never be happening. A free kill. It looked like he got body blocked in the open too. That really, you know, they were just. <laughs> about running faster than your friend in that like, sort of scenario? Exiting B! Exiting B! <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a reference. They've had so little luck on B so far, Orglis, that they really are going to go back towards A, but there are currently three players on A, and so this is going to be very difficult for them. They need to find the opening kill. Smoke goes down to block. Oh, no, never mind. They fluffed it. And they go in Forest side yet again. Remember oh, he got spotted. He got spotted this time. time. He got spotted, but it's not enough. First one's clean. And again, we're down to 30 seconds. Dude, Dig are just going to murder these guys. Oh, again. Oh, and, yep, again. go to B late again. And there's an incendiary here from Exist. All he has to do is throw that at the entrance. 15 seconds. It's just the same thing over and over again. It's like Molotovs were invented to counter Orglas. <laughs> <laughs> it really feels like that, doesn't it? Eight seconds. And now you're... What is going this on? Is this is just completely falling apart. With the money for. diggers, they should even just push in and try and get these kills for free. Just, just mess their economy up in time. Oh yeah. This oh is yeah. The right move. This is good. We're gonna get. We're gonna go after him. There it is. Perfect. That was flawless. That is so stupid on the Orglas side. All right, here it is. The tactical. We've time seen off. this three times. You've tried that now, <laughs> and then that one was the worst of all because, like, as you could see there, if you were the guys from Dig, you, there's no counterplay. Just for free, you just go and get your kills. This is their map pick as well. Yep. What is going on? I mean, it's a, it's a bit of a clown fiesta going on right now. It just feels like uh, Orglis T side. I'm glad that I'm glad that FNX calls the tactical timeout right now. You really need to have a moment here to sit and think. Like being as all of their rotation back to B has done nothing thus far. I, it makes me wonder what they're looking for when they go A at the beginning of the round because they're not getting anything because obviously the dig players just play back. Yeah. And they never actually push the lane side and bring people in. Like they don't try to control there and flash into the pit or something and take duel. They just they just sit there for like 35 seconds and then they just start walking back to B. Even though they know the guy who's been murking them, 15 and 5 Forest plays in that. I mean, I guess he plays the rotator spot. Doesn't he? But he's always going to be there by the time you get there. He's shutting down Arch, but I mean, they've just held on to an incendiary every round, and it's worked wonderfully for Dig. <laughs> that Molly has won them three rounds. And the blazing hot fragging, like winning every duel, that's that feels like a lifetime ago now. That August just went, disappeared 10, 15 minutes ago at least. So we've got the frag, I mean, we've got the force by coming in now from Orglis. All right, flash the top mid, take control. We've seen this part before. They have succeeded in forcing all the utility out of B. This time, no incendiary left for Dig. Forrest putting himself in a very awkward spot. A decent swap up, though, bearing in mind, he's, he hasn't been there any other time very much. All right, this would be acceptable to go now. They have no way of knowing, but they are trying to force the utility out earlier in the round. 50 seconds. This would be a nice gamble if they, pull, if they keep going with it. It feels like they're going to just delay a little oh. bit too long. Yeah, you can get the CT smoke down and you can go seconds. from here. They're going back, mate. They're going back. But this is, look at the rotation coming up from Forrest. This could get lucky. It could. Let's see. Two in pit. They, they're, they're, they're actually going to do it. They're going to get murdered. This is actually going to work, believe they're it or not. They're going to get murdered. They're going arch side with 20 seconds left. As long as Infinite doesn't instantly die, this is going to be a real nice round for Orglis. So, bro, you guys have got to go. You've got 14 oh, seconds left. Get right here, though. Yeah, the time's now a massive concern. Eight seconds. There it is. And nope. One goes down. Unbelievable. Yeah, the problem is he started at three seconds, so could never have been down. What do you think the hesitation is? 
There's something in the mindset of the Oculus players that's completely changed now. It's unreal. It's uh, they're not they're hitting so shots. To take the fights. They're 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 hesitating. They're hesitating on their calls. It's as if they don't trust FNS on whatever it is that he's calling. My assumption of what they were gonna do on that round there when they were starting to split was with like 15 seconds left, you just all hard rush in, and then the logic is they can't like. You know, but, reposition three or four times, kill us all. Like, oh, someone's going to kill them. I'm wondering if it's comms, because it's several times now we see the guy go balcony first when they're supposed to be pushing short, but the short guys are still holding, and so he dies for free. Yes. There's no trade. It all just looks like it's disjointed completely on Orglis' side. Yeah, Infinite hasn't synced up his pushes very well. I've Not at all. And it, so... The logic they're trying to do is he's supposed to come out and like kill the people in the back, you know, while you're exactly you're while you're fighting. pushing. Exactly. But he, he just gets killed. like you say. It's just he runs into someone's cross and just dies for free. It really feels like just out of whack completely. I couldn't put, you know, it's, it's really tough when you're saying it's not just this one thing. Maybe it's comms that's the, the big key here, and it's just getting a bit chaotic on the Orglis side, so they need to slow it down. It looks like they want to retake Banana and go B here. Ooh, flashes through. Driver gets his one. Oh, yeah. another bite Ooh. of the apple. Look at his damage score. There that's it, it they got the sight. Ah, and then Exist was here. And then you, you, you spent all that time fighting and you slow down. Please don't go away. <laughs> so 40 seconds. It's now, you gotta go. Second smoke blooms, that's coils. And now you gotta get in there. No fear, only dreams. Oh, oh that's great. Oh, and he still gets two. Unbelievable. So, Bros has no idea how much damage he just did to Guardian there as well. 17 seconds. And the smoke is cleared. How are you, you could at least ever get getting this planted? At least. This is it. Oh, Must smart. win. Sticking it. Uh, at least he gets the bomb yeah, plant in that. Bomb plant? Yeah. yeah, at least he gets the bomb plant. Three kills, bomb plants on an eco. We'll take it. But, uh, the hesitation is really costing Orgus right now. It is brutal. It's not even like the decision making is all bad. It's just going too slow and being too hesitant. Mm -hmm. If they just were willing to pull the trigger like they did on Nuke, I feel like, listen, Dig would have won a bunch of these rounds still. Like we saw from the kills, they would have cleaned some of them up. But there would have at least been, like, I'd say two more rounds on the August side. They would have had a fair chance at a couple. Whereas that's the other thing, the amount of bomb plants. That's also what I think's made the score so one-sided. Where are all the bomb plants for Oglas? Because that's the problem, they don't get in there. They've lost the time three rounds so far. Is that not crazy? That's mental. I, what is this, Navi from 2014? Especially because, remember, they're losing to time from scenarios that are like even man scenarios in the mid-round. It's not like, the, you know, if you're in like a 2v5 or something, yeah, you have, you have to go for nothing at that point in time. You're not in a bad 2v4 where they've got all the utility. Like, these are straight up scenarios where you could just pressure them, you could take a fight, you can commit just to go to one site. Well, they need to force, they need to make some more noise out here on being, trying to force some of this utility out. And Wardell hasn't done anything with that AWP so far. No, he has been fairly quiet, but you know, Sabrosa was pummeling Dig on Nuke and we haven't really seen the same level out of him here. Right, this didn't work last time. He almost got up and got over. I mean, I love this this actual um, crossfire, if they use it correctly. Well, Forest. Oh, and he gets checked. There we go. Some good use of utility. Sabrosa finally taking down his... Uh... Right, Orgus has a 5v4 here. 5v3. This must be the round. Come on. Exists still with the Molotov on beat. 35 seconds. Walking through the smoke is FNS, and he dies. Into a 3-on-3 three three we go. Get right. Drops him. That was so well done. Wardell's going to get the bomb plant, though, and so it's a two on three, three on three if you want to count the bomb as a player, which usually you should. I remember, this start is a 5v3. And let's go. Let's see. We're going to do a boost over. Just clever. Sadly, doesn't spot anything. Uh, Ow. Oh! <laughs> what a shot from Ye. There it is. Gets that one. Perfectly fine. Take that every day of the week. And he still somehow survives. Okay, now Exist is going to take him. The time is a big concern for Exist right now, though. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't get lucky. The guy wasn't there, unfortunately. No no need for Wardell to even peek on this. Don't die, Wardell. 
Oh, oh, he just takes him with him. And it's definitely Orglas who cannot afford that. They needed that gun, yeah. Yeah, plenty of money on the side of Dig. Orglas can't say the same. Ye would have to just go glass cannon, drop the op to Wardell if they wanted it, and that doesn't make any sense. Even there, you see how hesitant they were to actually take the, the site. They were willing to just let get right. Like, you, I'd love to be the CT player operating with all this space, just chilling. Meanwhile, if, if you, everyone who's been in a pog knows, if you're in that scenario, three people just bomb rush you, you can't do anything. Mm -hmm. It's almost like August is playing with too much respect at this point in time. I'm certainly very curious to see how all this plays out now because <sighs> we did say earlier the guys it had to be was Forrest and Get Right, and the moment we're getting like the classic performance here. Yeah, no, they're they're fragging hard. That A site right now is impregnable. It feels like finally they get a second round or a third round rather on the board. Orglis. and it also does tell the story of the game that Infinite has two kills. Bearing in mind he has been almost the sacrificial entry lamb so many times. Oh, smoke's gonna clear mid, and we could get the take. Oh. Or you could get an HE to the face, of Rosa. And now we have to see. Are they going to succeed in breaking this defense, trying to make as much noise as possible? They know that the B defense is screwed. You cannot go B now. You've left way too much time. It feels like every single time they come over get right side, he always gets the first kill, guaranteed. Well, all right, Freiburg finally throws one smoke. But they still have a second smoke on B. You are Ye not going B, Orglis. Ye, back off and come over to A and help out. You are not going B. You have not forced the utility out. Right, Forrest heard him. Let's see what you can do, Guardian. There's one kill for free, in theory. Is it? Not gonna get it. One for one trade. That's appropriate. 20 seconds left. Get right, hold, and rock solid on the balcony, oh, just waiting. If there was ever a time to get a kill, it had there to it be then. Could even get the second one, yeah. Oh, yay, what a shot! All right, 12 seconds left. Bomb goes down right in the back of the site. So we're just going to do the classic defend at this point in time. Oh, this Molotov. No. Oh, it doesn't uh, spread. Sabrosa. doesn't spread. Oh, lucky stars for him. Three on three. Tough one for Dig. So many angles to check. One of the hardest bomb sites to retake in CS. And the bomb is ticking. We're down to half time now, and so it's time to go here for Dig. There's the flash. No fear. So Rosa finds the first. Going to get traded. There's Wardell, and that is going to be at the round. Forrest running away, trying to save. He should be able to make it. Let me chase him. Wow, everybody dies. And that's actually huge. Somewhat rough for the dig guys when you look at their money. Well, org, dude, they've got no money. They're going to have to go for a weird wanky four buy. Like force, that's not good. And get right in the meantime, what can we, oh, get right can full buy. It's going to be dirty for both. All right. <sighs> But this is what I like to see from Orglis. They didn't screw themselves up. They're not doing enough in Banana to force Dig to use their utility over there. Unless you're really putting pressure on Banana and forcing existing Freiburg to use those nades. Not he fine, shouldn't even be there. Okay, hi, Freiburg. And now, there you go. Now you've used, you've forced quite a bit of the utility out. You got that opening kill. Oh, Guardian. Crossfire setup. Let's see it. There it is. All right, then. Dude, instant. Oh, man, and even following up. Get right for... That was a question. Uh, what well, tough one there for get right. And Forrest getting picked. So, dig at the end, are going to give up. I think that rounds. was questionable. Why push up like that? Like, you're, if I'm dig, I've loved the way this CT half's gone. Like, even yes. that last round, okay, yeah, they killed us a couple of people and got in the site, right? That was one time. Yes. Why are we pushing up at the end of this half here? Like, we just gave them those kills for free. Those are also, by the way, that was Get Right, one of our best players. Like, when Get Right stayed on the site, you couldn't move him. He never died. So, three rounds, they'll pick up the remaining three rounds of this first half here, Workless, unless Exist can come up with some insane push. Not going to happen. Wardell finds the headshot. So 10-5 at the end of the first half. Not actually even that bad to end on five. We consider how bad that middle period exactly. was. Exactly. Could have absolutely turned into an 11-4 or even a 12-3 half. And yet Orglis, somehow, they fight their way back into it. They get the remaining three half, or they get the last three rounds of the half. And, well, 10-5 going into the half. We'll see how it goes after the break.
ladies and gentlemen. Dude, this music is great. Some house now. We're all over the place today. Uh, who else is all over the place today? Dignitas. I like Tommy. Tweeting, what year is it? You got Forrest and Fre Forrest to get right top fragging out of their minds for Dignitas right. right now on the CT side of uh, Inferno. Okay, solid. Now we're going into the second half. Orglis did manage to get those three rounds, though, so now we're cooking with gas. If they pick up the pistol round, Orglis could be right back in this. And I don't want to throw the towel in yet on Orglis because now they're going oh, on no, the CT no. side. Now Dig have to come to them, and they can set up for the headshots. Whereas, I mean, there was so much hesitation on the T side. CT side isn't the same kettle of fish. Yeah, exactly. The difference is we have to see that the T-side from Dig can actually win this game still. Like six rounds on T-side, it's not super easy on Inferno. Certainly, yes, plenty of teams get to that point, but the Dig that we watched earlier today, they weren't looking so hot. So CT-side, very different to T-side player. Obviously, this pistol will be a huge win, though. They heard the footsteps. They heard a lot of bodies here. Should be aware. Sabrosa getting in position. There's the spot. Wardell cleans up the first. Sabrosa with two. And this is FNS failing. Freiburg with two headshots, but the bomb dropped in the open. And now Wardell has to do the work. And Wardell and Ye working together. Could not have gone cleaner. Orglis with six rounds. And crucially, no bomb plant. So now, if you go for the force, it's going to be a measly one. Most likely going to get a hard eco here. And... No bomb I mean, plant. This all is impediment. where, just to annoy people, I have to remind you that in the current economy in CS, this isn't even about does Orglis win the round, it's about how many people stay alive. Yes. So let's see. Dig, just want to get the bomb down. Orglis, we're literally trying to keep five people alive here. That's actually a priority in this particular moment in CS. I'm not a hugest fan of going all MP9s, though, because at the end of the day, there aren't enough kills to go around to make this a viable buy. Well... I guess they oh, really hate Ramos. Right, be in good position for this. Oh, wait, what? There it is. Oh, I'm ho, ho. I'm confused as to how we could see him, but he wasn't firing. Because we had the outline. We had the outline. No, but I mean, I think he could slightly see uh, infinite, maybe. What a weird angle that is, then. Yeah, it's a very bizarre one. You would think if you're holding it, that's the angle you want to go for. But he didn't fire a bullet, as far as I can tell. Good night, Guardian. Oh, it's looking brilliant so far. There's the fort. We've currently got five alive still. One player left on dig. There we go, we got all five. Wow, Perfect. And you get two kills on Wardell, two on Infinite. It could not have gone better. Now Wardell could go for an op if you wanted it. Everybody with MP9s. And actually the money just means that most of the NIP players don't even want to get a Krieg. I think it's also a question. I think Dig are a team that are also unwilling to give a Krieg over to the CT side. You know, you can put a Krieg in the hand of uh, hands of Sabrosa or Wardell. Things can get out of hand real quick. But let's see. Now it's going to come down to the nade strategy towards Banana. Orglis were expecting some very quick play once again towards top mid, and that's not the case. Dig could get explosive here towards uh, the B side. There's only infinite here holding right now. He's got a full set of nades. He hasn't thrown anything, and I'm wondering if this is a tell for Dig. They're not getting challenged in any way. Oh, buddy. I like the aggressive position they had on here, though. If they had have gone here, you, you want to be super close with these gardens. Oh, my goodness. Doing good damage there. Dude, he's getting so much damage in. That's very, that's very well done. How does he live through that? That's unbelievable. He's alone with four guys spraying through the smoke, and he survives. Now that's prompted the rotation from FNS. Still three people alive, and still plenty of aids to use here on the side of A for Orglis. And Sandieri goes down, buying a little bit more time. Wardell's got the smoke. So does Ye. But both ah, of these guys are posted. Right to jump, though. Both of these guys are posted up in apartments. All right. You're looking for close quarters fights. The thing is, you're looking for close quarters fights if you're Orglis, and yeah, at some, how does Ye get caught there? That's so huge, that kill there, especially because he gets the gun off it. So now the flank is out. So Rosa finds another. Three on three retake scenario now. Wardell's got an AK. But the bomb gets planted. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Let's go. Too predictable is this with the angle. Oh, there it is, FNS. This is it now. 1v2, all on Forrest, and he's gonna find Wardell, looking for the second. FNS hits the shot, gets the clutch again! Wow. Remember, they started this round with five MP9s against five AKs. And 
props immediately to I forget who it was on the banana. Who, did, who was it who was actually playing CT banana? Infinite, I'm, infinite. I'm, infinite. He did free damage onto Freiburg, pushed him off there. That kill on to get right in the boiler area was obviously immense for this one, especially to give Wardell that AK. This kill here. Because he not only gets the kill, he gets the AK from it, and then... He, listen, he's just spamming there, the graveyard, but nice to get lucky every now and then. Oh, man, that feels what good. What a huge turnaround if you're the guys from Oglas. Is this an FNS round, though? Is this? Do you think this is a, a round that's on the scale of the FNS clutch on Nuke? So we saw how that destroyed Dig on Nuke. Oh, for, like, breaking the yeah, mentality. Yeah, for breaking the mentality. It's certainly going to hurt if you're the guys from Dig. I can see this getting out of hand. I tell you what, every time we've actually been watching his POV, Sabrosa has delivered. Oh, yeah. That first kill from the site, great stuff. Oh, Sabrosa, he's starting to really come back into it as well. Still top fragging. Now we'll see if Infinite gets a little bit of a time to shine here. He's rotating off. It's Sabrosa who's going to hold solo B for now. Half by for Dig, pistols, Kevlar, and some nades. Well, the four man stack on air. Sabrosa so still has both of the key nades here for B. With a minute on the clock now, Digger going to try and force this uh, this smoke out. And this comes down to stones for Sabrosa. Are you willing to hold on to that smoke? And how far are you willing to push it? You've got Infinite here to back you up as well. But every second is so important right now. Oh, right, in theory. Oh, wow. Wardell Top of banana, the smoke. Right, Wardell checking mid should now know, like, there's nothing here. So unless they're going for like a silent balcony push, now you've got to get the fast rotation in. Come on. This is it. They're going to be able to push so quickly now. This is definitely favoring Dig. Dig have got this round on lock. to get two kills. Here. All on infinite. He's got to survive. Picks up one kill. That's not good enough. Oh, the way that played out. Yeah, this should actually be a save at this point in time, probably. I mean, I guess you... Uh, you you don't really know what weapons they've got. That's the problem as well. You know they've got two rifles picked up. It's a 2v4. It's so... I mean, 3v4 rather, but still. Like, let's see if one peeks us. We'll basically look at the new box guy's peeks us. If he does, maybe we can go... Ah, that's unfortunate. That is brutal. It's simply all. This is not happening. Losing this is going to hurt. And he is going to lose it at this point in time. Oof. And all that off of Orglis trying to get clever with the smoke at top banana instead of just throwing the smoke at 45 seconds at the entrance. Give him top banana. But Orglis, again, outthinking themselves. I mean, you saw how effective it was for Dig to run the clock down low and stay on the bomb site itself and block off the entrance of the bomb site when it's 45 seconds left and you're throwing the smoke down. Trying to get clever really is costing Orglis in this match on Inferno. This is their map pick as well. But that's going to come back to bite him. Sabrosa down. It's only a half buy from Orglis. But Dig with the freebie, and this could put Dig up onto 12 rounds here. Could. Should. Yeah, in lieu of anything crazy happening, we now have to start the discussion of, like, is Dig going to win this map? Because 12-8 up. You have to. Uh, the money's still going to be fairly shaky over on the August side. They're going to have one big full buy, basically. Dick should win the map. Still two players for August haven't even got double digit kills. Infinite having one of the worst maps we've seen in quite a while. He had two kills first half, from what I remember. He's had three on this side. The horse agrees. And so, dig 12 to 8. I feel like this should be a time out for all of us. Mm -hmm. I agree. It's been a while since I've seen one from them. I know Dig used a lot of theirs. In fact, actually, I'll give, give credit to Dig. Throughout the most of the games I've seen, they've been using theirs quite a lot. No, they have, they have, without a doubt. But now, this is it. Wardell's got his op. Fair Anything is, unless I'm mistaken, aren't both the players who played B, the ones with the FAMAS here? Yeah, I'm so surprised. Up, well, no, but then you have full nades on B, so that's fine. I mean, they've sent Wardell with them to back him up with the op, so... But I'm surprised that Infinite, or rather FNS, doesn't go for nades of his own. 
I just take them from Moss instead so that they have nades to work with. Yeah, Robin sees him. Ah, that was close to that. You can't be losing our AWP at the beginning of the round with that. And not on a shot like that either. Guardian, he should be hitting that day in, day out. And so now, man advantage for Orglis. Still have a smoke as well here. But that's over towards A. Sub Rosa once again getting greedy. Once again looking for shots. Wardell's just going to keep repeating this angle over and over again. This is either going to be like a 3 or a 4k or... Ooh, actually wisely chooses to pull back. Yeah, but he, he got his... Uh, he got the value. Oh, let's see. Exist. Unfortunately for him, Infinite is holding that angle. And now get right. 45 seconds left. I mean, he is the king of clutch after all. He's got time to work. And luckily for Orglis, Ye showing some discipline. You haven't seen the bomb. You haven't seen... You're not going to just rotate off. You've got three players on B. Adding a fourth one there, not going to do anything. So stay back over here and set up to ruin Get Right's day. 25 seconds left on the clock. So. And that all started with Guardian with that very questionable whiff mm -hmm. onto a clean just mid-range shot. Yeah. Uh, that, this is what people don't realize. It's like, okay, I'll, maybe I'll use this analogy. When I say Forrest isn't as good as Forrest Prime, Forrest is still a good player. Guardian is so far from what he used to be. It's really depressing, actually. Because, like, old Guardian, those, those first two kills are great. Like, he would actually just tear that off himself. It would be like when Zero did that entry kill on Summit where he was just running up with the old kill and everyone. Uh-huh. The idea he would miss, like, just a normal mid-range shot. No way. Yeah. The, the, the percentage shots aren't there right now. And so Guardian, he needs to find some confidence again. They do have a full buy on both sides here. Double eight of P in play for Orgless effect. Yeah, and that's the full buy back on the side of August. That they, you didn't need to give them that for two or three rounds. Like if you'd kept k killing a couple of them each round, making them really play, they'd have been in a real rough spot the whole half out at this point. But now if they win this round, the entire game's on their side. They've gone for the smokes, and now we have to see. Infinite has an incendiary that he can get down here. One incendiary has gone out on B. Infinite still in position though, and Infinite once again. Smoke going in, but again, it's a top banana. They're getting greedy here, because Sabrosa, he's got this angle, and now Sabrosa has to hit this shot. If he misses this shot, it's toast. 50 seconds, they've used all the utility, and Infinite goes in for the info. Could we... St this is it. Sabrosa wins this first shot. Yikes. Yikes, dog. <laughs> Give me a break. Oh, FNS tries. Smoke is up, though. Wardell is locked out, effectively. Oh, I like this HE, though. Uh, luckily for uh, Dig, it was Forrest who had full HP who went for the plant. The feels exist. That could have got awkward. Yeah, we're going for a safe hit. Yeah, that's uh, an example of right. where if Infinite thought he was making an information play, he wasn't there. Because the reason why that wasn't an information play is you had no info from the other side of the map. You have no clue where they are whatsoever. Yeah. Right, at that point in time, you already saw them at B. You already had a fight at B. You actually want the guy at A to push to get some information. And you're at like 50 seconds, you know? So at that oh, point, if the hit's coming. It's gonna, it's good. Like th th this is this is the problem with that player. You either peek and there's no one there, and you go right, there's no one there. They're coming here. Or what's the other alternative? You peek and they're there, and they just kill you, which is what happened. So it's actually not a very good gamble that one. No, but it's, it's what what we're seeing here is they're getting clever with this top banana smoke instead of putting it at the entrance to the site itself. Oh, and that all almost died there as all well. Right, so Wardell holds on to that. But this this smoke is really wrecking. Org. That's Sabrosa throwing it, and that's Infinite throwing it, and both time they peaked for info at the top when they really should just be locking off the site itself. At 45 seconds, just lock the site, whether they're there or not. And is Wardell going to fast B? Because this feels like a Wardell play, like you just push through the box now, big balls, just instantly try and off the first guy. Tough one. Didn't go quite as far as I thought he would, but same idea. If anybody can do it, it's Wardell. Ah, uh, but there's the shot, now they have the info. Logically, you should just rotate him away now. Like, they heard the AWP here. Gamble that they're gonna go there. 
Wardell still hanging around. He was really hoping that they that they would think that uh, he had rotated to A, and so they go for the peak. And so Wardell misses the gamble. Unfortunately for him, that was really smart, but it just didn't work out. It was a double bluff, and it doesn't work. Yeah, they were, yeah, but they, they neared the coffin, so they're suspecting he could still possibly still be there. Extreme patience being shown here by Dig. Very disciplined stuff. 50 seconds and only just now going to start be working their way over yeah, they, they the Yeah, notice again, they don't, they don't give any extra presence on the map. Like, they don't push someone up themselves into the air. Someone around that bike would be nice. Wardell is just dancing right now. There it is. Hits it, and it's a leg on Forrest. Golden opportunity missed. And now he's in a world nice. of hurt. Yeah, this is going to be a rot. This is going to be the grinder biscuit if you run in now. Smoke goes down. Infinite. Boost it up. And let's see it now. Wardell has to hit this. It's the first one. Guardian goes down. There's the follow. -up. Not going to hit it, but it sets it up for Infinite to get the flank. The damage is going in. Orglis. Unbelievable. Do they actually manage to pull this off? Forrest somehow has survived this. And now look at Get Right. Classic! That was a classic flank as well. I would be raging here right now. Like how is he getting through there? The one spot we can't have him come is literally behind us through the spawn, mate. Because if you were August, that, that setup looked awesome. It did. It really did. It had me believing for a second there. Like you, had the, you had everything. You had the boost. You had the AWP right in the back of the site. You had a second guy to support him. The one thing you couldn't let happen was literally what happened. And by the way, anyone who hasn't watched the first three years of CSGO, that's what Get Right did all the time, basically. FNS has a kit. No way. No way. No way. Oh! The problem with that is you'd have to be... Two people would have to be pretty bad <laughs> to let him actually live. But I guess it's not impossible. It could, I mean, it looked very possible there. I think there's less than a second left on that defuse. So, 14 to 9. Do Orglis have it in him to run it back perfect here? Or are we going to a third map on train between these two teams? And it at feels that point, like I think a third it, map to me. It feels like a third map, and it feels like it's anybody's map on train. Like, just the playmaking on Orglis' side has dropped off big time. Yeah. And it's like, as long as the as long as long we're in an even man scenario, at the moment, I think the big guys. They look way more decisive. Well, for us to get right, or also. And everyone's fragging way better than the first map. Indeed. Whereas, like, look at this. Is still infinite, just quiet. And infinite. infinite and FNS, rather. 16 kills combined. Even the lost on Dig, Freiburg has 13. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it. It's definitely a rough, a rough show here for Orglis. So now we have to see. They've got the setup again here on B. Passive. And there's the first smoke. So Rosa does not have one. Infinite still does. So once it gets down to 45 seconds, this is, this is going to be chain smokes. And it's looking like Dig are realizing that they just did not force enough utility out on B. And so it is going to be towards A that they wind up. They have the smokes necessary themselves, as well as the incendiaries. And here we go. 40 seconds. All right, we need Dig a miracle. Top. Wardell. Oh, man. If Dig decide to wrap back towards B, this is going to be nasty. But it's looking like they're going to gather up, and it's looking like it's going to be the A hit. I see it, yay. Ooh, buddy, that's awkward. Now we're looking for some hero players here on the August side, if you want to see a team's hero. Well, yay yeah, finds one from the pit. Wardell is there as well. Freiburg taking point. Forrest is in the graveyard. And the pit has not been dealt with yet, though. That's the big problem. Eight seconds, bomb going down. But now it's a 2v3 retake. This is where... Oh, if Infinite could have actually been firing his gun there, it would have been a kill. There's still so much time, but if Forrest gets his tap... Now it's, now it's not a good 2v2 to be in. Oh, Infinite is just doing work this round. Two kills, and now it's all on Ye. And Ye gets the kill! Does he have a kit? Is there a kit anywhere? Yeah, he's fine. He's got time for it, but... <sighs> Gotta give it to Ye. He showed up when he had the chance. Two kills from him, stayed alive in the pit, remained a constant threat to dig, and infinite. Ten kills now for him, two kills rotating in from library, and that did, just did so much. Yeah, he started to turn this game. I remember he only had two kills first half, I think it was, so he's starting to get into the game. And yeah, actually, he's been fairly composed most times we've seen him in the match. Yeah, miss having Ye on uh, LAN. He really embraced uh, the shit talk. 
Spice is play. still a bit rough though from all of us. Like if you're the dig guys, this should still be your game. Oh, certainly. There's still plenty of play for you. Now, now we're starting to see a bit more of the uh, tactical nades getting used here in Banana. Molly's really trying to fight for this space. Control it. Guardian decides to cancel. And there it is. Double HE is hanging around too long. Targeted HE is right on top of Freiburg. Yeah, and that's something we can throw out there as well, which is like Orglus on this map at least, CT side utility has been almost non-existent. Like, hasn't all they ever do is throw that smoke top of B that you keep talking about. That's about it. We're down. Science discretion is the better part of Valor at that point. Backs off. And Forrest has just been hitting shots, man. He is almost dropping a 30 bomb. He's at 20. Right, now you're at their mercy, unfortunately. I wouldn't be surprised if some of them pushed through this board and go B at this point. Well, it's the four of them together. They can do whatever they want at this point, Dig. And it's looking like it's just going to be the full wrap and count on the refrags, which is fine. Ye's going to be hard-pressed to win this fight. I mean, the time's getting down there. It's still no joke. You've got to watch that timer. No nades, though. Ye, Wardell on A. They hardly have anything. And they, they're doing the push down banana. This is crucial. This is actually very well done by Orglas. Let's see. It's it. a great time to take a gamble. Because you actually it. might even get there. You don't even need to. I mean, amazingly, it was never needed, actually. But if the key thing is, if, if even one of those guys dies, that flank almost ensures the round. No bomb plant, but plenty of money still in the bank. Forest can drop for Freiburg, or for Exist, rather. It feels like a while since I've seen a full buy on the side of the guys from August. They, they've had some janky buys. Yeah, now they have full nades. This is the round right now, though. If Dig loses this round, now it feels like even footing if, if it goes 14-12. Because now Orglus is happy to just play the late round scenarios and just let the clock run down. They're doing the same thing, actually, that the Dig guys were doing to them in the first half. Like, you correctly understand that when the clock is running down like that, the tempo is actually on the side of the defensive side because they have to make the play. You can just sit back, and every second you waste, it's another second on your side. Oh, those were some brutal nades to top and out of there to rattle Orglis. Guardian getting traded a little bit on the damage, but they are going to take control of top and and this could be straight up short. No fear. Right onto the side gate. They know he's there. Freiburg there to open it up, oh, leading what away. Else going through, though? No way to get through that smoke. Molasset and FNS is there. He dies. Perfect. No hesitation on the side of Dig. Move together as five. Keep it simple. Keep it straight. Just go right onto the site. Yeah, after all those rounds of like playing it all the way out, slow, trying to read the just do a rush. Yeah. Uh, this is playing into it where I mean they have Guardian, they have a stand in. It's not like they have a roster together where they you know everything's gonna be well thought out and executed. You have a guy who you still have to calm to in English. So uh, when you're a bunch of Swedes who can all speak great English, it's worth pointing out, but they want to be calming in Swedish most of the time, and I'm pretty sure that's what they're doing, so just keep it simple. Yeah, the other thing people miss with that is it doesn't. It actually doesn't matter how fluent your English is. The point is you don't think in English. You think it's Swedish, so you're already having to do a little bit of, you know. Exactly. You've got one foot in, one foot out. And the same thing for Guardian as well, you know. English definitely. Well, Guardian is kind of just the guy. <laughs> Weren't you talking about that on the desk where he has always just existed as like... He's just been on a million of those teams. I'm just going to play on teams where the primary language is not the language that I speak, but fair enough. Right, surely now, Dave. Surely now we can have a third map. This is easily the worst buy that Orgrove's been put, forced into. Oh, Sabrosa. This is ballsy. But it actually looks good. Oh, there's the smokes. Ye is getting just obliterated right now. And now Dig, once again, they've secured the man advantage. Oh, they can rinse and repeat. Just run straight up short again. Let's go as five. Oh, we got the rotation, though. That should be there in time. Interesting. This time it's going to be through apartments. It's going to be a waterfall off of uh, just balcony. Just yeah, like. on the banana now, so we know it can't be a flank back there. Oh, this is all over the place. All right, come on, Wardell. 
your time. I need at least the first kill if we're going to have a chance of August taking this round. At least the first. Surprise, surprise. Oh, he nearly gets a second. Did good damage. There it is. FNS. Doing FNS. some work as well. What on earth? His movement. But it is still just going to be Yay now rotating in. And yeah. this is for the map. This is it. Dig now. On the edge of picking it up. Could be done and dusted in just a moment. And well, yeah, now what are you really going to be able to do here? Crossfire setup for Dig. Perfectly done. It's the triangle of pain that you're trying to walk into. And there it is. Get right. Final kill. Forest, 29 kills. Get right, 27 kills at the end of the map. There you go. Super solid performance from the Swedes. And so it like is a return. 56 kills combined or something. Yeah. Pretty yeah. nice. Monster. Monster performance from Dig. Brings him right back into this series. And while Orglis now, train is going to be so tough. I feel like that's a 50-50 between both of these teams. It, both of them are competent on it. Both of them can swing on it. So yes. it's going to be real fun. But we're going to need to take a break and hear from our analysts first before we get into the third match. So we're going to do that now.